I request the platform that hosts a video playlist to not take it down if requested to do so, in the interest of justice. Instead, to telephone me or text me and I will call you back. Use apat apat pito apat apat dalawa lima sham pito apat lima zero plus four four seven four four two five nine seven four five zero. Do not give up after a single attempt. I am easy to get hold of and highly responsible. I know I would be unpopular if I were highly responsible. They want me scatterbrained and mentally helpless. I request the platform that hosts a more video playlist to please take down only the video that was objected to but do not take video down before giving me a chance to do so myself. Also, please give me alternatives to taking down a video, such as editing, if applicable. I am not legally trained. Therefore, these are requests. I request the platform that hosts a more video playlist to allow me to consult a solicitor. However, I admit I may not be able to afford a solicitor since I'm unemployed and registered disabled in Ireland. I feel nothing stops me from working part-time from home, but no one will help me with this or any other matter. I was expelled from the Institute of Physics in the Duke for bringing them into disrepute. I have made a choice not to work in physics because the physicists, the men told me I must share intellectual matters only with women. Otherwise, the physicists said they will make sure I don't get ahead in a more physics career. As you can see, I do not have any career. I feel all alone with thousands of daggers pointed at me. Women come to me in droves, with buckets and offers of golden kindness. And my life is a maximum security isang daan porciento female mental prison. I do not wish to die as a women's hero, despite the unpopularity I will face for Amo choice while I am still alive. I do not wish to remain isang daan porciento trap inside women's kindness. This is also a prison made up of women's vanity. Who are putting up this message? I run the risk all men will hate me for rejecting women, and no human will help me. I must die and nothing more to me. But I have decided to face a more destiny. Therefore, I request all females except the following categories to not contact me if the reason for contacting me involves kindness. The exempt categories are a person in authority, a person who is just doing their job, a person who was similarly victimized. In Ireland, females seem to practice nothing but kindness. I feel it is a method of control imprisonment. A suspect that AMA publishing rights were sabotaged on Amazon, Barnes and & Noble and draft to digital for some years. The ASN agency strangely did not reply to Emma inquiry. Later, I found a name erased from Nielsen title editor, which keeps record of books published in the UK or Ireland. It is like the ASN agency erased Emma existence from their servers. They made it like I have never existed. Is this unlawful perhaps? I cannot be sure these things actually happened since I am not legally trained. If you support freedom of speech, equality and justice, please support this video playlist doctors or a killing a is staying on the air. I am committed to bringing freedom to all humans who are in ambo circumstances, even if I do not survive. This is a promise on God. Welcome to Chapter 14. The previous chapter was about only medical events that took place between August 2018 and March 2019. In this chapter, we just continue with the medical events. I was staying at Generator Hostel in Dublin. I was assigned a free government accommodation for migrants in a city called Killarney. I had planned to travel to Killarney on the 1st of May 2019. I was packed and ready to travel. But before catching the intercity bus, I had some errands that I had to run. 
I was about to cross a small road as a pedestrian. This road marks the eastern end of the Smithfield-Lewis track. I felt severe pain on my right foot as I stepped onto the road from the pavement. What I saw was a flash of bluish-silver metal. So I was driving my car and I had a green light on the so I just turned left into my building. I suddenly noticed the lady stepping off the path and uh, of course it's either gone under my wheel or I don't know to get my car. Yeah, copy that control. No problem. Do you want to start taking deep some of the details on the one? I'm with the patient now, yes. Oh, you're the same? What do you see there? I don't know, he was saying to me. He said, well, I should remember the matches. I remember the matches, please. What? Show me the long time ago. And the matches, please. Yeah? Remember the situation for this today. I mean, for the matches, please, please, exactly. Yeah, that's ages ago. Maybe we were small, concerned about this lady. No, I have a problem with the mind. That's ages ago. We were dealing with this incident. Just we can't can you yeah. I realized in a twinkling my foot was under the wheel of a car, and that I wouldn't be able to retrieve it. But mercifully, the car went over me, and I was able to fall to the ground. Two homeless young men ate free meals at the nearby brother Luke's, who were quite bitter, angry, and negative all the time were bystanders. I knew them by sight. Because I sometimes ate free meals at brother Luke's. I recalled from the accident that these men commented that if I had a real fracture, I would be screaming the place down. Actually, I was able to answer questions, but my memory of that day is very foggy. I have no recollection of the lady who hit me, or answering her as shown on the body cam, trans-dev videotape. I recalled a lady in formal attire, who could have been a solicitor, who spoke to me briefly and walked through. I recalled her wearing a frock. For the first couple of days in the hospital, I could not move my arms and needed help being almost better than. Yeah, Mohina Hairson. Spell Mohina? M O H. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Hairson. Hairson. H E O S O M. You saw they identified me. Okay. Yeah. It's the junction of Bow Street. We're not exactly at the Smithfield stop. We're at the corner where where Bow Street. It's at the junction where you go across the Lewis line from the Smithfield stop. to the Four Courts. It's between That's Smithfield right. and the Four Courts. Put it that way. That's probably the easiest way to explain it. Despite being at the chronological start of my story, which is on the 1st of May, 2019, I flash forward to June 2019 and beyond to describe how the case developed. This is after being discharged from the hospital on May 21, 2019, with all names and identification removed. First, they noted I said a man was at the wheel of the vehicle that ran over my foot, and that I reported feeling a bluish metal-like flash and intense pain. They said someone, else a man must have hit me since this lady, denied hitting me in multiple communications. She had been identified by Garda as the one who hit me but the Garda must be wrong, they said. They initially admitted I was far gone during the accident. But I later argued with them that there could not be two cars hitting me. I also pointed out how easy it was to mistake her for a man, when I got only a flash, as she seems tall and slim, and dressed in all black. But they erupted that I was trying to twist the case. I wanted it to be her because, if we did not know who the driver was, I could not claim compensation. It was a man by your account, and he is a hit-and-run driver, who can never be found, they said. Subsequently, they made out I was a liar, as my report of bluish-silver metal did not match her car. It turns out my color report did indeed match her car. If the hospital did not testify that you were injured, we have no proof that any car hit you, they said. Soon, they confirmed she had been identified beyond doubt as the person who hit me, but said she did not want to pay, they said. A person always had the legal right to refuse to pay even if they hit someone, they said. What's she alleging? What's she alleging? What is, what's she alleging? What is she saying happened? This um, 
I thought one of them really, yeah, oh. I didn't okay. watch over, yeah. So, so R.A. 3 is the ambulance number. Yeah. How are you? Uh, we've only arrived as well. Mohina. Yeah. 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 How are you? I'd say, uh, Mohina, Harrison. We just so we were over the platform and <laughs> we just seen her down and then yeah. th there's a driver apparently she was coming. I don't know exactly what happened. Car hit her. The car hit her anyway. He's uh Street. No, no, Fisbury. 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 And obviously going to the matter anyway. Yeah, anywhere else, so